We are a little more than a week into the new year, and maybe one of your New Year's resolutions is to take a break from alcohol. What is known as Dry January has grown in popularity over the last several years, thanks in part to tasty alternatives to your favorite boozy beverages. Mixologist Kirsten Berry joins us with a delicious, a couple of delicious mocktail recipes to celebrate a healthier start to 2023. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm super excited to be here. I'm so glad to have have you here because I'll admit I've been curious about trying a dry January for the last couple of years and I just don't feel like I found my thing that's a good substitute. Okay, so we're going to give you some great options. Today. Okay, well let's um, do that. Let's start off with the Winter's Island. Okay. Um, so this is going to be kind of like a bourbon tiki cocktail, if you will. Okay. okay. Um, so we're going to start with Nista, the barreled oak, which is similar to like the actual true bourbon. Okay. And that's what's amazing. A lot of these non-alcoholic spirits have come such a long way in the last few years. Very much so. Like, if there's anything that you typically like to drink that is a true spirit, there's mm -hmm. going to be some kind of non-alcoholic alternative for it, for sure. Right. Alrighty. And next, and we're going to go with 0.25 ounces of, this is called the Nista Warmwood. Okay. And this is similar to Amaro. Um, and Amaro is going to be pretty much like a bitter Italian liqueur. Okay. I typically like mine on the neater side. Okay. Um, just so I can get like the full flavors of it, but this is gonna have like some Genetian essences to it. Um, and it's almost like a little bit of oak, a little bit of wood. Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna go in with some citrus here and we just have some fresh lime juice. We're gonna add that in. Nice. Perfect. Alrighty. And this ingredient that we have is really cool. It's actually sweet potato syrup. Okay. Alrighty, so this is going to give the sweetness that we need for our cocktail, or mocktail. Right. Um, <laughs> so good you won't know the difference. So, so good you won't know the difference. <laughs> now, the thing with mocktails is you have to be careful with the amount of sugar that you're using mm -hmm. um, because you don't have the actual alcohol to help cut it. Okay. You don't, we don't want to drink anything that's too syrupy, too sweet, because we're also still trying to take advantage of the healthy Right. Benefits. Well, and, yeah. and we were talking a little bit about this during the break. You also don't want to just feel like you're just drinking drinking a glass of juice. Exactly. I mean, you want something a little more complex exactly. than that. Yeah. Alrighty. So for a little bit of complexity, we're going to add some cinnamon in here as well. Okay. A couple of dashes of that. Nice. Alrighty. And we're going to get ready to shake. Okay. okay. Do it. Cool. <laughs> I mean, and this is a skill, I, just like a chef putting flavors together for a meal, trying to find the right flavors that go together to really make that drink just right, especially, like you said, when you don't have the alcohol. Yeah, it's, um, I try to come up with cocktails that I feel like are reminiscent of classic cocktails and are just a little bit of a reinvention of them almost. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So just a little bit of play on things that have already been done, Yeah. just so we keep things interesting. And so how long have you been doing this? Five years. Yeah? Yep. Yeah? Five years. It's been a really interesting journey. Um, I am self-taught, and my mom is actually a chef. Okay. So I was super inspired by some of the interesting dishes that she comes up with, and I was like, what if we can do things that are just as cool but in a liquid form? Right. So, well, yeah. yeah, I mean, when you know what kind of flavors work well together, I can see where that really helps out on something yeah. like this. And I, I mean, I, I love, too, that, that restaurants really seem to be stepping it up, because I will say that's that's kind of my downfall, is that yeah. I might have good intentions during the week, mm -hmm. and then it's like, oh, well, I'm out to dinner, I yeah. want a cocktail, and if, if a restaurant doesn't have a good variety of something to choose from to replace that, then I just default you just back to go back. Yeah, you go back to what we know and what right, we're comfortable right. with. Yeah. These um, spirits, which were actually donated to me by the Zero Proof Company, uh -huh. um, which is based locally here in Atlanta, have been really, really cool to work with. Yeah. And I honestly have learned a lot yeah. um, about the non-alcoholic um, spirit industry just by using their products. Yeah. So they have everything from this gin that we're getting ready to use next, mm -hmm. um, which is the Nista gin as well. Okay. Um, we have the Nista bourbon still and they also have a tequila uh -huh. um, non-alcoholic alternative and also a mezcal as well. So you're right like any type of spirit yeah, there's that you want. There's literally something for everyone. Can I take a, a Absolutely please do. And a, and please, a sip. please do. Alright while you're tasting that I'm going to get started on the next drink and this one is going to be mm. called the Lavender Dreams. You like it? That it's is good? a good alternative okay. right there. Yeah. Karen, 
You're missing out. <laughs> this is good stuff. All right. I'm sorry. All right. What, what are you making now? <laughs> now we're going to go into the Lavender Dreams, which is a play on a French 75. Hmm. Now, I'm a sparkling girl. I love anything with a little bit of bubbles, some ever essence to sure. it. Sure. Um, and a French 75 is one of my favorite cocktails in the whole wide world. Mm -hmm. We actually also have a non-alcoholic sparkling wine. And no lie, this was one of the best non-alcoholic like, wines that I've ever had in my okay. life. It was super good. Um, well, you, you don't even know that you're missing anything. You have really no idea. Yeah. So for this one, for our sweetness, we're going to use a um, Earl Grey Lavender Thyme Simple Syrup. Okay. Okay. And so that's probably pretty easy to make. It is, yeah. Right? You're literally going to use Your equal sugar. parts sugar, equal parts water. Um, if you have like just some fresh lavender or even dry lavender, you're going to mm -hmm. add that to your mixture as well. Okay. Um, regular just Earl Grey black tea bag. Stick yep. that in there. Stick your thyme in there and just let it steep okay. and simmer. Um, once it gets a little bit thicker, you'll just turn off your um, stove mm -hmm. and you'll be good to go. Just let it sit out, get cool. Okay. And you can add it right on in there. Nice. Um, for our citrus for this one, we're going to use some lemon juice, all right? And we don't want to go crazy on the lemon, so we're only going to do about half an ounce or so. Okay. Just so that we're still able to pick up on the lavender syrup. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to shake. All right. Shake away. Let's get ready. Okay. Here. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm running out of ice. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that cold. <laughs> Here we go. The flavors alone are going to make that work. There you go. Okay, cool. Alrighty, perfect. Now, Joanne, can you What's shake? Uh, I'm gonna let the pro you do it. Let me do it. Okay, shake cool. away. <laughs> See, she's got the move. That's why I'm making you do it. <laughs> okay, cool. I would not have done it nearly as stylishly I'm sure as you, you just did. Been, you would have been fine. <laughs> Alrighty. So All right. We're just going to straighten this into here. Okay. Okay. And I want to get a good sip of this one, too, before we wrap this up. All righty. And we're going to top it off with our bubbles here. Okay. So nice. There we go. And just because we deserve pretty things, we're going to add a little garnish in there. And so the garnish is? This is going to be just fresh thyme. Okay. Yep. So this is the leftover thyme that I had when I made the syrup. I love it. We do deserve pretty things. Yes. It does elevate it, though. It does. And it, still, it gives you the effect of, like, I'm actually having a cocktail Absolutely. Without, without the alcohol. So you can enjoy yourself, still remain guilt-free, and stick to your resolutions. Ah. Uh, okay. There, <laughs> there we go. Cheers. Let me have a sip of this also. Mm. That is so nice. Good. I'm glad okay. you liked it. I'm glad you liked Look it. Look at this. I've got alternatives now, Kirsten. You, Thank yeah. you so very much. You appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank mm -hmm. you for having me. And for today's recipe from Kirsten, head to our website, fox5atlanta.com. Click on the viewer information link.